gals thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're new to our channel click that red subscribe button ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime we upload new videos now before we get into the video first i want to give a shout out to some of my awesome subscribers i want to thank you guys so much for clicking and sticking with me i love all of you thank you so much for your comments for liking and sharing the video you guys are amazing so thank you so much so today guys we have an unboxing we are unboxing the rainbow hive dolls i'm so excited because i've been on the hunt for these dolls for at least uh it's been a couple of weeks but i know that they were out uh, probably within the last week or so and so i've been looking for them i had zero success finding them here in georgia and let me tell you i went all over town here in atlanta and was unable to find them but fortunately i had a friend of mine from the west coast who actually sent me an early birthday present guys so today i have poppy rowan and i'm going to be unboxing her and i'm so excited to be able to do that Another thing I did want to mention, you guys know, my birthday is tomorrow, July 27th. It's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday. And so I'm so excited because I'm going to be doing all kinds of unboxings this week in celebration of my birthday. So I hope you guys will come and celebrate with me. So guys, without any further delays, let's go ahead and get to this unboxing and see what's inside. Okay guys, so the first thing I'll tell you is the package was not as big as I thought it was going to be. The doll is larger than OMG dolls, but I wanna compare the box. And the reason why I think it's important to compare the box is when you are on the hunt for these, like if you're in the store, you're trying to see like how big of a box should I be looking for? As you can tell, the width of the box is almost the same. It's almost the same height. The only thing is I would say the Rainbow High doll box is just a little, it's just a tad bit longer, okay? So I just wanted you to know that when you're looking for them. I was in the stores, I didn't know if the box was like super huge or what, and I was just all over the place. Um, but it's good to know because sometimes people do move things from the display area and they like stick it somewhere else and I don't know if they're thinking, I'm gonna come back later and get that doll uh, or what. So sometimes I find these dolls when I'm on the hunt for them in random places, especially when they're an exclusive doll or a doll that just came out. Sometimes you don't find them where they're supposed to be. So I did wanna mention that. So let me tell you guys a little bit about the Rainbow High dolls. And if you want more information, you can click a card that I'll put up here so you can check out one of my videos where I did kind of a sneak peek and talked about all of the dolls and their outfits and stuff like that, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but I'm going to give you a brief little overview. So Rainbow High is a cool little place. So let me tell you about it. It says, legend says at the end of the rainbow, there's a pot of gold. But the truth is, it's something even more amazing. Only a chosen few with an eye for bold fashions can follow the rainbow to Rainbow High, the colorful fashion school where everyone learns to flaunt their true colors. Now this is exciting because you guys know I have a passion for doll fashion and so this is right up my alley and I love these dolls like in this original group right here. There's six dolls that you can collect. There are other dolls, but we're not gonna get into that right now. But right now there's six in this particular group that you can purchase that are a part of this series. And it's so amazing. They each come with two different outfits. And unlike some of the other dolls that we've been unboxing recently, it's like all about the surprises and stuff. These dolls are actually, you can see what you're going to get. So this is the uh, doll and the first outfit. And this is the actual second alternate outfit that they have have and it's gonna be so cool to see that and so guys let's go ahead and start to unbox her this is amazing I'm excited I don't know exactly how I should do this so let's do it Okay guys, so we have our girl out of the box and she looks so pretty. Look at that face guys. 
and she has like a little like shimmer highlights on her face um i don't know if you can see it on camera it's on her lips and her cheeks under her eyes and she has real lashes guys look at that isn't that amazing I just love that she's got these little butterflies in her hair I'm not gonna take these out it's my understanding they pop off uh, but they're very delicate so you could break them and since I just got her I didn't want to do that the other thing that I did want to mention guys is I just ripped into that box I ripped it to shreds okay I was so excited I really didn't preserve the box I mean maybe if I get another one or next time I'll do better but I was just so excited and I couldn't wait to open her but anyway so I think she has such a pretty face and look at her hair she actually has like product in her hair and it's kind of these curls are kind of hard and so eventually I might do something to kind of loosen them up but for today I'm not going to do anything I'm just going to leave her as is and look at her long hair back here and if you can look really closely you see it's like orange pink and it's like a peachy color it's like all of those different highlights in it so that looks great and it goes very well with her makeup and her outfit she's got on this little puffer jacket and I'm gonna try to take the jacket off and I wanted to see if her let me see something yes okay so their hands come off too just like the OMG dolls which makes it much easier to get them dressed and undressed but don't be like me, keep your hands, if you get multiple dolls, keep the hands straight because sometimes I can't remember whose hands belong to whom. But anyway, so we got the little jacket off because I want to see what she looks like underneath and show you guys because I know you're really interested in getting these dolls and so you want to see kind of, you know, what you would getting. So as a doll collector, I love seeing uh, detailed videos, especially if I don't have the doll yet. So she has this little dress, it's almost like a little slip dress. Um, it's kind of cute right there with the little sheer look and it has like a little shimmery uh, color to it oh and look at these boots guys I love these boots when I saw them I thought they looked cute and her kind of um, theme is like the butterfly so isn't it so cool those little boots right there the boots are nice and you can see like the butterfly wings on her boots so we're gonna take her boots off so we've got her boots off, and I'm, I promise I'll put her hands back on, but I wanted to take her clothes off so you can see what she looks like underneath, and we could talk a little more about her articulation. Okay, so we've got her dress off. I'm gonna put her hands back on, because that's weird, right? Okay, so we got our girl undressed. She actually does not have holes in her ears for earrings. I kind of wish she did. Even if she doesn't come with earrings, it still would have been nice to be able to put earrings on her if we wanted to mix and match with other dolls. Um, that was a little disappointing because I actually wanted to try to see if my OMG doll earrings would fit her. But I guess I'll have to try it when I try one of the other Rainbow High dolls. And they, Look, the articulation is good, so we're gonna be able to do some great poses with your girls. Look. Now their hands are really firm. They don't have the like the little dainty hands like the OMG dolls, and there's no nail polish on her hands. So, but we're gonna be able to do some cool little poses. Yes, what? Anyway, so she's got her little undies that match her color, so they're orange as well. And I think it's kind of interesting right here well actually these dolls very articulated at the hip so to speak because look at how I can kind of pull her out and do different things and the knees and stuff so this is gonna be a lot a lot of fun posing our dolls look at that she almost looks like she's doing like a ballerina move and you see it right there look so it actually rotates all the way around so I think that's kind of cool that they have that I really wish they kind of rotated a little bit at the waist. That's probably the only other thing that I would have liked. And maybe a little daintier hand. I don't know. But, so cute. I'm in love. I love her. I love the fact that she's kind of orange. And you guys know one of the themes for my channel is orange. If you my channel art and stuff, I love that color. So got that going on. So 
Let's go ahead and put her alternate outfit on to see what she looks like. So she has on her second outfit. I just put on the little top and the skirt, but I wanted to show you something that I thought was really cool. She actually has Velcro on the hoodie so you don't have to actually put it over her head. You know, sometimes when you have outfits that are like that, it's a little difficult to put them on. And one thing that I think is gonna be so awesome is the fact that you have that Velcro. If you try to put this hoodie on another doll, maybe with a smaller head or a bigger head or hips or something, you will have a better time being able to put that on since it has that kind of hood and the Velcro in the back. So I think that's so, so adorable. And so look, her little alternate top, it says rainbow on the side, on the sleeve, and this is like a little crop top, and this cute little leather skirt. I love all the little details. Look at that, guys. That looks so, so awesome. And then the other thing is each doll comes with a stand, which is pretty easy to put together. It just reminds me of, you know, your typical doll stand, very much so like the ones that we have for the OMG dolls so we can just kind of stand her up. Now, one thing I would like to tell the folks at MGA, please make some clear doll stands. Those of us who love to pose our dolls on Dollstagram and you know we like to do photos and stuff like that, I would love to have a stand that's kind of clear so it won't be so obvious in my photos. It's nice when you have these color-coded ones that actually match the doll, but sometimes you wanna put a different outfit. I mean, I may wanna put a blue outfit on her and then I have to find a blue stand or I have to worry about a white stand like sticking out or something, but a clear stand would be fantastic. So, hey, take it from me, make some clear stands. Um, the other thing that comes inside, I didn't wanna take it out immediately, was her shoes, guys. I think it looks so cool in this little box. So I've got her shoes out of the box, guys, and let me tell you, these are so amazing. They're even more cute in person than I thought they would be, if that's possible, but they are so cute. She's got the gold little socks that go on the inside, but this is so cute, and I'm guessing she could just wear it without the socks as well for another look, but this is so cute. I just love it, love it, love it, guys. I love these shoes. Pretty, pretty, pretty. But I wanted to point out something that you guys probably already know, and it's been discussed online. Before they came, we were wondering how these dolls would pair up size-wise with OMG dolls, and let me just do a side-by-side -side comparison. Look, she's a lot bigger, a lot bigger. So probably, uh, most of the items will not fit both dolls, so I did want to point that out. And I was hoping the shoes and stuff would fit because I thought that would be so cool. But guys, look at this. Not going to happen, okay? Not going to happen. Her foot is so small compared to this shoe. It's like really, really small. So she, my OMG dolls will not get the benefit from all the different things that I have for my rainbow pie dolls, but that's okay. It just means that I gotta start something new in order to, you know, work on this particular part of my uh, doll addiction and my doll styling and stuff. So we'll work on that. Another thing that comes inside is you get two hangers. This one is, it, it's actually cool. It's got the little clips for her skirt to hang that up. And then it's got this hanger right here. So if you do it properly, you might even be able to get both outfits, um, like one outfit on this hanger and then one outfit on this hanger. Maybe you could give it a try. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. Now you guys know that I like to try different things with my dolls. I like to style them in different ways. And so I'm just curious if she will fit some of my Barbie stuff since some of my Barbie stuff is a little too big for my OMG doll. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so I probably would not actually pair this outfit together because the hoodie doesn't really go with the outfit, but I just wanted to show you guys something. This is a Barbie skirt and it actually fits pretty well. I just threw a belt over it and I thought the black would bring out her lashes, make them pop. And then also the fact that she has on these little uh, shoes that have the black in it from the butterfly, but it just goes to show that they can wear some Barbie stuff. And so let's see what else I can do to give her another look. Okay, so I put on one of my Na 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 Surprise tops on her. It's like a crop top. And this actually is one of my Haunt Couture skirts that belong to my OMG dolls. And it actually fits her. The only thing, I'm trying to be careful with her hair. 
it actually fits her pretty well I could have tightened it a little more but the only reason why it fits I just want to be honest is because it's made of a stretchy material if this was like a regular skirt I don't think it would fit as well especially because they it would be really short and you would be able to see those little seams there where she has her articulation but that's pretty cool and it actually goes pretty well with her her like shoes and stuff like that so that's not a bad look and it just makes her look like she's got really really super long legs so guys let's give her another look okay so we have a casual look for your girl she actually has on a creatable world top the little zebra top I thought it was cute I thought the orange and black went well with her and this is a Barbie skirt and it actually fits pretty well so I like it and I put on her regular little butterfly shoes on. I just took the gold socks off so it would be more of a casual look. I actually tried it with the boots, but I thought it was a bit too much with boots. So I decided not to go for that. But I think it looks cute on her. My overall assessment of these dolls is I want every last one of them. They are super cute. Um, I'm going to have fun playing with their hair, styling them. I'm also happy that some of my items will fit and also some of my OMG stuff will fit as well. It just depends on what it is and how it's made. And I look forward to showing you guys some more looks for my Rainbow High dolls. But my overall assessment is I really do like them a lot. I think they're super cute and I'm gonna have so much fun styling them. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below, but I look forward to being able to do more unboxings of these girls so you can see them. And once I have a lot of different outfits, guys, I am going to be styling them like crazy, mixing and matching with the other girls. So guys, that's all we had today on Instant Ride Play. But before we go, I just wanted to say, even if you have a hard day, we hope you find some time to play and we'll see you next time on Instant Ride Play. That's what it's all about. We are in for fun